Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 102 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're headed to Pocatello, Idaho. Let's get into it. I haven't even picked up the load yet. Uh, it's going to be interesting because I've never hauled something like this. In real life, I definitely haven't. I don't know if I've done doubles in game or not. So anyway, you will all see... Once we head over there, it's just Turn across left. the street. So basically what I did is I came over here and slept. the Amish furniture place. I thought I turned pedestrians off, but I guess not. That is our load. Oh, we can change it. To that. <laughs> nice. Take job. And I'm guessing where it's in the back. Right? Yes. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Okay, let me change that. I hope everyone had a good Wednesday. I hope everyone's having a good Thursday. I should know better than to, you know, even try that crap. Since I record ahead of time, you'd think I'd have figured that out by episode 102, but obviously not. Where in the hell? Nailed it. Prefabbed house panels or house prefabs. Nice. And I really hope I don't have to back this in because that could just be one hell of a mess. And some of you are sitting there like, I hope he has to back it in. Thanks. Thanks for the support, people. I get it, though. I'd probably be the same way if I was watching somebody. It's 
So yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm having a, it's, it's been a good day. Uh, episode 100 came out. And I finally hit 550 and maintained it. Because it seemed like all week I would hit 549, go back to 548, 549, 548. I don't know what was going on with that. Anyway, those people that are unsubscribing, yeah, it's their loss. They're missing out, right? So. Or who knows? I know there's a lot of bots and crap on YouTube, so it could have been one of them, too. And YouTube just cleaning crap out. I don't know. But yeah, so that happened, hit 550, which is very cool. Thank you if you're a part of that. If you're not a part of that, what the hell are you waiting for? I mean, it's free. Just take your little thumb on your phone and, you know, turn right. Hit the old subscribe button. And then while you're, you may turn as well left. just hit the thumbs up too. I mean, because I'm confident it, it's damn good content. You'll like it. Yeah, other than that, I had uh, my mental health appointment. Which was actually really good because I hadn't, I've had to reschedule with the wife's schedule and having to go into the office. I've had to reschedule it because we only have one vehicle. No need to have two vehicles. But we do have two motorcycles. And there was no way in hell I was hopping on my motorcycle in 30 degree weather at the time to go to my appointment. Anyway. It's been like two months since I've gone. But it was a good appointment. I have a... Uh, she gave me a worksheet, like I have homework to do. Thankfully I have three weeks to get it done. It's nothing hard though. She even told me, she's like, this shouldn't take any more than five minutes. I'm like, all right, well, you don't know my brain. She's like, well, that's part of this exercise is to not overanalyze stuff and not overthink it. I'm like, okay. talked about is kind of what I talked about in the last episode with my whole time management and feeling like I don't have enough time in the day or I'm getting behind and I forget things and she pulled up my my medical records you know to like just kind of breeze through them and she's like wait a minute She's like, you were just diagnosed with a service-connected TBI? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, there's your whole memory thing. I was like, yeah, but it's always been good. I haven't had to write stuff down. She's like, well, as you get older, that happens. She's like, but when you've had a TBI, and she's like, as I'm looking through your records, you've had quite a few head injuries so that sort of thing is going to go quicker I'm like okay it makes sense she's like so do you, you know, write things down take notes I'm like no because I've never had to I said but what I'm finding out is um, I kind of have the, the bright shiny thing or squirrel syndrome however you want to say it but I'll start doing something and then I will see something or something will pop into my head and I'm like, oh, I need to do that. And then I will go and do that. And then as I'm doing that, I'm like, oh, and I need to do this. And it's like I'm bouncing around, right? Or I'll say, yes, I need to do this while I'm doing that certain project and then completely forget about what I was going to do after that. 
and then I'll move on to something. And then I'll forget. And then when I do remember, then I'll be like, crap. Now I really need to sit down and get this done, that sort of thing. So I just need to get better at jotting stuff down. And it's not like I don't have the capability. I have a notepad sitting right next to me on the windowsill or whatever you call it. I don't know if this rig wasn't hitting, sitting here, I guess somebody could use it as a seat, but. Uh, and then over on my desk, I have like two or three notepads. And I've got a little dry erase thing that sits under my monitor that I actually sit and write down, you know, the timestamps in the description of all my videos. That's what I write all that on as I'm editing the video. So basically, I just need to get better at, you know, writing shit down and... Doing that sort of thing. For example, like my follow-up. Which I think that I talked about the day I, I was... I had that appointment and was diagnosed with a service-connected TBI that he wanted me to see his speech therapist because she is much better and more well-versed, I guess, in picking little things up that he may miss. And it's been like a month and a half, and I haven't heard a thing. Which is kind of my fault as well, because if you don't hear back from them within like a week, you're supposed to call and kind of remind them or be like, what the hell happened? And I fully, I was fully aware when I left that appointment that he was having computer issues because he even told me during the appointment. He's like, let's hurry up and get this done because my computer's been acting weird. Um, the good news is the diagnosis and all that stuff got in the system and was safe, but the B12 he prescribed me for headaches and that follow-up for the speech therapist or whatever you call her um, hasn't been done, so I need to follow up on that. But something like that right there, like I have known in my head that I need to do it, right? But since it's not written down and I'm seeing it every day, it just kind of goes to the back of my back of my brain, if that makes sense. I know sometimes I sound like a bad one idiot, but welcome to my brain. One of my good friends, Jay, my my Italian brother from another mother, always used to. Well, he still does when we talk on the phone or text or whatever. After I'll start talking about something, right. and then you guys have probably experienced here. Mid sentence, I will come completely change my train of thought and move to something right. else. And I don't know how many times as we were talking, he would stop me and he'd be like, could you just do me a favor and finish one thought before moving on? And I'll be like, I thought I did. He's like, no, you swapped thoughts like mid sentence, like it was nothing. I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> Yeah, I've noticed that watching my videos as well. Because I don't, obviously, I don't script anything, right? And I'm not going to script anything. I mean, yes, I'm playing a simulation game. I used to be a truck driver. And so I'm showing that aspect, right? But I'm not, I'm not a role play type of person. Now, depending on what type of role playing you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm kidding. Seriously. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't script anything. This is all on the fly, which I'm fairly certain all of you realize. Now, 
could I maybe have some some notes in front of me? Because remember, I told you I in the last episode, or maybe it's episode 100, whatever, that I was a cop in the Air Force, and then I retrained into Intel. And that's basically what we did when we gave current intelligence briefs, right? We didn't read from the slides or anything. We had crap memorized, and we had, like, bullet points in front of us that would jog our memory about something, right? Or keep us on track. I could do that. The problem with that is I have no friggin' clue what the hell I'm going to talk about when I sit down and record. Go straight. I just start talking. And whatever the hell comes out of my pothole comes out. Right, wrong, or indifferent. And who knows, that's probably what people love about the channel. I don't know, that's fine. Because I've always said I'm a... What you see is what you get kind of person. There's no... I mean, if you met me in real life... Uh, I'm just like I am now. Basically. Probably not as talkative, depending on the environment, because I'm not... I've never been one of those people that can walk into a room and just, like, start talking to people. Keep left. I'm Back usually the one that sits yards, in the corner, turn left. all quiet and observes. And part turn of that's left. from, you know, force protection, being a cop in the Air Force, all, you know, some of that stuff, right? Because I'll just kind of read the room and read body language and, and all that sort of thing. Basically kind of sit back and pick out the assholes that I don't want to be associated with is kind of really Go what straight. it is. Plus, quite honestly, I may have said, but I'm just not a people person. And some people may find that odd, like, wait a minute, you have no problem talking. Right. But I'm not one of those that can just walk into a room and be like, hey, my name's Ty, how you doing? And strike up a conversation. No. Now, if you come over and talk to me, and there's something in common, and it's interesting or whatnot, yeah, I can... I have no problem talking your ear off. Especially if it's something I'm interested in. But for the most part, I'm just not a people person. Nice. We love our way stations. It's even on the left. Even better. So yeah, that's also one interesting thing about this this whole YouTube thing is which I, I think I'm getting better with and I'm more comfortable with is you know getting out in front of people. Even as an intel guy, briefing, you know, briefing current intelligence. Really? You know, you would think, okay, yes, did I look? I didn't. But holy hell, how far out there was I? And then, he, like, their brakes don't work? Anyway. I didn't even see if I got fined for that. Oh well. It's it'll buff out. As long as the cargo didn't get damaged. I guess I should probably check that. What is that? F6? F7? Oh, we're golden. Look at that. It didn't even... Didn't even wrinkle it. So, yeah, back to this, I, I feel I'm getting more comfortable. Now, now, I will admit, there are days that I sit down and I quite honestly just want to freaking drive. I don't want to say a damn word. 
which I also know is fine because people like watching those videos. Just it's kind of like truck sim ASMR, right? You just listen to the motor and you know all of that. Which I guess my videos are kind of a combo. And it may even happen in this video. At some point, I may just shut off. Chances are it's because I took a drink and muted my mic and forgot to unmute. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it is what it is. But that's the other thing I found that also makes this easier for me to do or more relaxing is I'm just myself. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm just, this, it's just me sitting down playing a video game. And I'd be, honestly, I would be just like this without a microphone next to me and software recording. I wouldn't be having this conversation with myself, but chances are I would be talking or cussing out AI traffic. That's mainly what I'd probably be doing. And that goes back to my wife and my bonus kids wanting me to start YouTube because they would sit and listen to me play Call of Duty. Because at that, at that time, my office, well, I say office in air quotes, was out in the living room because we have like a massive, well, I won't say massive, but it's a long living room. Like it takes up the, the house, basically. And don't, we don't have a massive house. I think it's 1,500 square foot on one level, three bedroom, two bath. But our living room goes from the back of the house to basically the front door. So when you walk in the front door, you can see out the back windows to the backyard. All right, that sort of thing. If you want a number, possibly 25 foot long by 14 feet wide, maybe something like that. Maybe longer. That's uh, got to be longer. Anyway, you get the idea. Basically, it's two living rooms in one. So, the smaller half, once we put our big movie theater style couch that's in like a half moon that I just had to have. And then the 65 inch TV, I'm basically on the other side of that. And I had my desk set up at the time to where, I'll slow down as the wife is watching whatever she watches on Netflix. Um, I could play my game, but still see the TV as well. Now I had a headset on and everything. But she would hear me playing Call of Duty and would just sit there and laugh. And here's the funny part. I don't have friends to play with anymore in Call of Duty, right? Like, everybody's gone their separate ways. We used to play in the military, like, every damn night, but... I mean, things change, right? But I would still play, so it's just me... on a team of six. But I never had my microphone on. I always muted it, and I muted everybody else. Because I just didn't want to hear all the bullshit. Right. Like, you hear some stupid shit playing Call of Duty. And 80% of the time, it's from some 13 or 14 year old that thinks they're Billy Badass, right? Knowing damn well that if mom or dad heard them say what they were saying, they'd probably get their ass beat. Well, who knows nowadays? Maybe they would. I know if I said what some of these kids are saying, I would have got my ass beat. Anyway. 
but I would get frustrated. And apparently that, my wife finds that funny. When I'm playing a game, now if I get frustrated and I'm not playing a game, she just kind of walks away. <laughs> and leaves me alone for like five or ten minutes and then comes back and is like, so are, are, are you good now? <laughs> like, yo. It's to the point, our dog, that if I even raise my voice, the dog automatically leaves, thinks she's in trouble, and then goes and lays on the couch. She could just be in the room with me and something would happen, and I raise my voice, or get frustrated and she automatically thinks she's in trouble and runs to the and I haven't even never laid a hand on the dog other than petting her. She's a sweetheart though. She's she's a spoiled bougie bitch is what she is. And yes, I'm fully aware that um ninety percent of that reason. My wife is the other ten percent. See, and here's one of these times that I got caught up shifting there and completely forgot where I was going with that train of thought. Why is that? Oh, because I was in. I had the splitter forward. seeing at this point of people are like all right now he's quiet that's because my brain Keep right. After 50 yards, is kind of right. like replaying the last 10 minutes trying to figure out what the hell I was talking about exactly which since I can't just really think about it off the top of my head like that tells me in my mind that it really probably wasn't important <laughs> Oh, Call of Duty, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, a game would piss me off. Turn right. And I know it's just a game. And I've talked about it before, so I'm not... I mean, if you really want to know my thoughts on Call of Duty, just... I don't know exactly what episode. I know I've talked about it in numerous episodes. But the game just isn't fun to me anymore. Turn left. And it's kind of funny because now a bunch of the Call of Duty YouTube people that I used to watch are now posting videos about how the player numbers have completely tanked. Which we all predicted that shit when the game came out after all the stupid ass changes Infinity Ward made to it. stability a little bit and at this speed it's almost yeah I think I need to come back down I need to be closer to 25 so I need to probably be about 30% Although the faster I go, the, the less stable it becomes, which makes sense, right? The higher, faster you go, the less stable shit becomes, so. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right.
wants higher RPM shift. I just realized what's been throwing me off this whole damn time. Y'all want to know? I have a 13 speed. And I've been splitting the bottom. The low range. Which, if you can see on this here, I'll show you. For those that don't know. See on that decal right there? You don't split the low range on a 13 speed. And that's what I've been doing. That's why all my low range shift shifts have been messed up. Listen, people, I never claim to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, so just give me a little slack. Now, should I have known what I have in the truck because I just drove it yesterday? Yeah, but, you know, I, I have 18 speeds and everything else. That was 69 and a 65, right? Typically, well, typically I'm going about nine over anyway in a vehicle. Obviously, when I had my truck, it was governed at 68, so. Cycle, that's usually that's a lot more over we'll typically ride about 75 between 75 and 80 if not 80 in a 65 mile an hour zone over here state in Missouri where it's 70 it's yeah I mean you can go I mean I've caught myself doing 90 before just cruising and not passing cars sometimes getting past <laughs> about time for me one of these days to go out and fire the old girls up get the fluids moving I usually do that about once a month non riding season but I haven't I haven't done that which is odd I did hook them up to battery tenders, though, for those that are wondering. And I guess I don't worry about it so much because, as I've said before, our garage has a... We have a mini split for our garage, so it's climate controlled. So they don't go through that massive fluctuation in temperature like many people go through. And 
quite honestly, I say to fire them up, you know, to get the fluids going and kind of, you know, in the motor and all that sort. I really just want to hear the damn thing fire up because she's angry. Sounds so good. You think this Jake brake sounds good? My motorcycle going about 80 and you just let it off that oh my goodness actually now I got a This is in a video game too, but I don't know, it's probably not quite as deep and throaty as that, but it's damn close. And plus I have a cam in it, so once she's warmed up good, it sounds like it wants to die when it idles. Alright, not, not that bad. Not like an old school Harley, but it has that nice lope to it. Now that I'm talking about this, I'm getting more excited to... And we're in a winter winter weather advisory right now. In fact, as a matter of fact, it must be so bad that they actually pre-treated the roads today. In town, even. And you know what we're forecasted to get? Like one to three inches. We aren't even in the bad part. It's all going south of Kansas City. St. Louis is going to get hammered, apparently. But we're just supposed to have rain. Now it is... It is 36 degrees right now and raining, so it will probably get a little slippery around morning commute time. Surprisingly, we haven't had a lot of snow this year, and I'm not complaining one bit. As a matter of fact, I haven't even had to break up the shovel. And that's fine by me. Oh. Oh, see, I thought I was... I looked down and saw red, and I'm like, oh, wow, there I am speeding again. But not really. 74 and a 70. I mean, technically, is it speeding? Yes, but, like... to watch an episode 100 as we were eating dinner tonight. So I mentioned we 65 inch TV. I think it's a Sony uh, Sony Bravi. I don't know. It's a couple years old. But that was another purchase that I, I typically any electronics purchase I'm researching for I think I researched this one for a few weeks. Anywho. 
as I'm sitting here staring at my computer screen playing this game I'm realizing that it looks really really good on the TV like better than what I'm seeing on this monitor which I'm happy about and that's part of the reason I record and upload in 1440p for those that do watch on 4k TVs they can take advantage of it and yes I know it's 2k but it looks damn good well in my opinion it does that Werner AI truck is hauling ass And I got news for you, they don't do that in real life because Warner's governed it. I want to say 63. But it may be 65. another city off the list, folks. What was the purpose? Of, why not just right. keep this lane going, right? Like, why stop that lane and... I don't know. I'm not a city planner, but... It's just one of those things that makes you go, hmm... So that flag is over there. This is typically when we back in though, but it, it appears where that flag is at that we're not backing. And I am I am thankful. No, we're not. Now the question is which way does it want me? Okay, it doesn't want the trailer there make more sense if I had a container parking under the container lifter, but I'm going to turn my flashers on. We're on the yard. Be safe. Safety third.
I almost want to go around and do that again because I feel like I could have got that way straighter pulling in here, but you know what? If they're happy, they can unload their crap and take it. Wow, that was kind of a long trip because we have two hours and 59 minutes before I have to go nighty-night again. Oh, it's not my trailer. I have to detach. Should have leveled up. Boom. We are maxed out on our skill points, folks. You're witnessing history at Shit Show Logistics. We can go no higher with our skill points. We'll still gain, um, for those that haven't seen this. See, we still gain stuff. We just don't get any more skill points. Wow, total driven distance, 50,000 miles. Interesting. And this is episode 102. 41% of roads. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've only canceled one delivery. And there's the playtime on this profile. It's a lot of hours, isn't it? That's on this profile. Um, and that those numbers are weak compared to some people. Like, really weak. Because some people have had this game since it came out in 2017, I want to say. Alright, Ty. How about you just shut your pothole and see what there is coming out of here? Oh, look at a luxury yacht. Going up to salmon, if which we don't have because that's that right there, isn't it? Yeah. The only here's the sad part. I need to sleep because that needs to be there on Wednesday. So no way I can take that and then sleep. So if I would have been smart, I would have looked for a place to sleep first. Such as that place right there. So then, I can go sleep. I actually may do a 34. And now that I'm looking at this, not, not may do a 34. Yeah, see, I did it again. My rain selector was forward. That was the switch I wanted. And we'll have to see by the time we get there, but roughly right now it's 1225 is when they will, we will be there so that means it's going to be 1025 at night roughly 1030 whatever After 100, which means another night run left. Turn left. but if I sleep again and do a 34 then it will be uh Eight o'clock in the morning. That's one mechanic I wish this game had. I mean, if you're gonna have rest time and everything, then actually program this to actually have a logbook so you can only work 80 hours in seven days, or 70 days, and or 70 hours in eight days, whatever the hell it is. Wow, I've been out of trucking that long that I can't remember. 70 hours. Yeah, to where you would have to do a 34-hour restart to reset your hours. After 100 yards, turn right. 
I guess we could put some more go-go juice in her too since we're at about half. the soda special. Three for three dollars. Super juices, new flavor. Try on the road. Oh. Super juices, new flavor. There's some jokes there that I'm just not going to get into. Okay, wait a minute. So here you have Super Juice New Flavor Try on Our Road. I'm guessing that's three for three dollars, or is it three dollars a bottle? Can't see how many ounces. But then you have this one. Why are those ten dollars? The hell's up with that? This old girl weighs as a bobtail. Okay, could you take a freaking gear truck? Apparently, I hit that bollard or a pylon, whatever the hell you call it. 19,820. I would open my door and check the sticker on the f on the door, but I can't. But that seems about right for this. Maybe a little light. I don't know how much a cab over normally weighs, though, so... Alright, Ty, quit pissing around. Let's get to sleep. That's a fancy caterpillar trailer. Ten thirty in rain. How about no? Jacob, I just you just came back empty. The hell. Bought you that nice pink freight liner and your ass is coming back empty. 837, and it's still raining. That's a hell of a storm. Did she just come back empty too? Bob came back. What the hell is go uh, all these people come back empty? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Pascal. All right, so let's stop wasting time there. 1.5 million. Almost time to buy another garage. But I've got news for you. Remember this G35 over here? This Matt VT? Yeah, he's got a website. Remember I told you he's got a website? He makes custom yards. I may have subscribed to his Patreon which gave me access to all of his yards. Which I thought I took this one out. I need to take this out. Because for some reason it breaks this road. Plus it kind of goes off the map. Anyway. But there's one there. There's one in... Culverston. 
There's a massive distribution center in Laredo. There's one in Schulenburg. And I think there's one in Lubbock. Yeah, so that'll probably be where I... And, and the reason being, because if you guys saw this one here, how it's kind of got everything just like Jordan does, right? It's not just a garage, like the base game thing. It's actually like a homestead, I guess you could call it that. Anyway, it's more real, bottom line. Okay. How about you shut up, wrap it up, sir. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 102 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, what do you wait? If you made it this far and you're not subscribed, drop down in the comments and let me know why. I would honestly love to know, genuinely love to know. And don't forget to drop a like on your way out. And until the next one. Y'all take care. Bye.